so with the last groceries that I got, I went two weeks and I have plenty of food. However, I did run out of milk and cottage cheese. So I went to the store for a quick trip. I have not brought any sparkling water. I stopped drinking it. This is a major milestone for me. I'm not against it. I still will plan on drinking it, but I don't know. There's something just about the um, uh, the discipline that that alone is taking, and I also like to do sometimes just getting off of something and then getting back on and seeing how it can kind of shake things up. I didn't really plan on doing that. This all kind of started when I was doing my grocery challenge. I'm proud of that. Oh, and also I was out of pickles. And it is pickle season. When it gets hot, I just love pickle juice. I drink it. I just love pickle season. And so I got some pickles and I'm very happy about that choice. That is groceries update. In my quest to find foods that last longer so I don't have to go to the store as often, um, I remembered nonfat milk powder. When we were kids back in the 80s, this is what our parents did to save money. It was cheaper. And when we would have sleepovers, at first I actually remember there was a point that I didn't like it, but now I love it. I don't remember not liking it, but it is so good. And I picked some up at the store and essentially you don't have to even use hot water. It actually dissolves pretty good in cold water. And I think the flavor is just like, it's, it's gonna be different if you haven't tried it, but it could be a way to make your, you know, as a backup in case you run out of milk. That was really dramatic running out of milk as a kid. Now it's not as dramatic. And I just love the flavor of this stuff. And it, it is good with coffee. And so if there wasn't some already made in the fridge, we would make it before we had our cereal. And then there were long summer days back then of just, we got to play all day. Also, this stuff is a great thing to add to your kid's food if you're trying to get them to gain weight. I mean, it's, it's an option. I'm not saying it's a great option. I think in the summer, cold milk is just so wonderful. I started drinking sparkling water again. I was just reflecting and I'm glad I took a break, but I was like, you know, it's summer and I want to start drinking it again. When we were kids, we did not have Amazon half price books, buying books online. All we had was yard sales, which I don't ever remember getting a book from. And sometimes a library would sell books like once a year to get rid of whatever they had that was extra. And the only option you had was like the books you had at home or the library borrowing books. And if you wanted to buy them, they were usually full price. Okay, so one of the first books that I read um, as a kid that was poetry that I thought was so funny and wonderful. And I talked about it in, in an earlier video, talked about one of the poems. I went to the thrift store and I always like to look browse through the books and I was thinking that I wish I still had that book 
it was like a collection of my parents. Okay. I was looking through the books and voila, we found it. Really fun book for kids. Really super fun book for kids. And actually, I was reading through it. This doesn't have my favorite poem in it, but it has a few that I forgot about. I laughed out loud as an adult now. And it has some pretty deep poems that <laughs> apply for adults. I also love it when that happens. I love it when you think, I wish I had something, and then it shows up. Well, there's some pretty profound poems in here, and I think I understand it even better as an adult. But um, one of them is called Zebra. And that one is really good right now. And especially because when you look back on these books, you realize like how black and white we have become. There is a little bit of a drawing that's part of a poem where it, it shows a backside. I'm just thinking, gosh, would they even let kids look at that now? There's another poem in the book called God's Will, and that one is pretty funny. That was super fun to find that poem, to find this book. This book definitely has that smell that is so common with books back then. The poem I liked when I was a kid is not in this one, it's in the other one where the sidewalk ends. But I think now my favorite poem has got to be the zebra poem that's in this book. There was a collectible book for Charlotte Bronte, Jane Eyre, and it was such a cute book, I wanted to get it, but I don't want to be carrying so much stuff around before I actually have a permanent home. We had a very good library in my hometown. It was really fun to go to the library. It was really nice. They renovated it and I didn't even think it needed renovation. Sometimes I think the old version was better. It had these really cool, I want to say Art Deco chairs, but I'm not even sure. One of the things that made me really happy was going to the library, finding some new books. And it got to a point where some members of my family had some library finds that were so high that they cut us out. They cut us off. <laughs> they cut us off. And it wasn't funny, actually. I couldn't get any books. And it was like my escape. Like, it was uh, my joy. And so I was counting the days until my 18th birthday because in my head, I thought that when I turned 18, that they would allow me to get my own account. And there was all this time like on the edge of that waiting, thinking, you know, oh, it's one more month and then it's, you know, the next day. And when I went into the library, to say, hey, I want to get my own account, you know, I want to get some books. The librarian told me no. And I was crushed. Crushed. So I usually kind of judge a town. I gauge a town by their library. What their library is offering. And it's, um, it's just amazing what libraries have now especially with digital stuff.